This is a 100 hectare land located in Hawaii community of Shimli South local government area of Delta State. Prior to 2012, the area was a beehive of activities and a commercial hub for the adjoining communities. Due to the popularity of the area, the 100 hectare land was acquired by the Delta State government in 2012 and handed to the Federal Housing Authority to build low cost housing. But up till now, nothing has been developed, and the people claim it has now become a hideout for the criminals. The traditional ruler of the area speaks more on the situation. The place is now bushy, it's called Sambisa Forest, now taken over by hoodlums operating under the auspices of IPOB. But I know that that is not what the IPOB stands for. But every month we have killings here, at least for the past seven, eight years. There is no month that they don't kill somebody and remove his head. The traditional ruler leads a protest by his people who say they are tired of all the killings and show their displeasure with various placards. Their destination is a government house in Asaba where they complain about continuous security challenges allegedly brought about by the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, which makes them continuously live in fear. Monthly we record about, let's say, 30 deaths every month. 25, 30 deaths every month. And some of these people are beheaded. We don't know if it is used for ritual or whatever. And uh, secondly, the cause of this uh, issue is the, the, is the vast land acquired by the state government, which they handed over to the federal government for development with a stipulated time factor to develop this particular land. But for 12 years now, this land has not been put in use. I will bring it to the attention of the governor I will equally bring it to the attention of the Commissioner for Police. We we'll look objectively into it. We we'll look into the laws of the land. We we'll look into the purpose for which it was acquired. We we'll lie with the relevant uh, federal authorities to ask them further questions on why the land is lying fallow. They hope the state government will act fast to take the necessary steps to develop the property to put an end to the security threats.